Why is it so easy to scroll for an hour, but impossible to just stand up and start that five-minute task? It's not a lack of willpower. It's not laziness. It's a tiny biological quirk of your brain. Now, there's a five-second window where your brain decides if you're a starter or a stopper. Miss it and you're stuck. Catch it and you're unstoppable. I'm going to teach you how to catch that window every single time. I'm Dr. Arif and welcome to The Brain Project. Tip number one, catch the micro impulse before the brain overthinks it. Every action starts with a tiny spark. A quick signal from the prefrontal cortex saying start or send it or begin. That signal is short-lived. If you don't catch it, the brain immediately shifts into analysis mode. It checks for discomfort, uncertainty or social judgment. So your first job is simply this. Notice that tiny first urge, that micro moment is the doorway to change. But most people miss it and the five second tool helps you to catch it before it disappears. Tip number two, use the five second countdown to interrupt hesitation. When you count backwards like five, four, three, two, one, you're engaging the prefrontal cortex. You're pulling your brain away from emotional autopilot and into intentional action. In those few seconds, the emotional brain quietens down, the logical brain steps forward and the hesitation loop breaks. So the moment you feel yourself delaying, start the countdown. You're not waiting to feel motivated. You're giving the brain a new command. Tip number three, move on one, even if the mind isn't ready. Here's something I see repeatedly in uh, behavioral research. Action begins with movement, not with mindset. If you wait for the mind to feel ready, you will wait forever. And when the body moves, even a tiny step, the brain follows. So when you uh, reach one, don't think, don't negotiate, don't analyze, just move. Open the laptop or stand up make that call. Take the first small physical step. Movement melts the freeze. Tip number four, building repetition until starting becomes automatic. Discipline is not a personality trait, it's a neural pathway. And like every pathway, it strengthens with repetition. Each time you use the five second tool, you teach the basal ganglia to make starting a habit rather than an effort. With enough repetitions, beginning becomes easier. Resistance weakens and hesitation loses its power. Don't measure the size of the task. Measure the consistency of the start. And remember, small starts build stronger circuits. Tip number five, reduce emotional friction instead of waiting for motivation. People wait for motivation. And that's the problem. Motivation is unreliable. It fluctuates with mood, with energy, with sleep, and also with stress. What actually stops you is emotional friction, worry, doubt, uncertainty, anticipated discomfort. This five second tool works because it cuts in before the friction expands. It stops the emotional brain from telling stories that keep you stuck. Don't wait to feel ready. Act before the emotional resistance grows. Procrastination is not a flaw. It's a temporary brain freeze. This five second tool helps you thaw it. Catch the impulse, interrupt the hesitation, move your body first and repeat until it becomes effortless. Five seconds can change how you begin and how you begin often shapes who you become. Your next action can start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.